first thing I'll say is if the NCAA tournament follows uh, this path in terms of how exciting this was and how intense this was, you're going to have the best tournament in the history of the NCAA tournament. So um, really thankful to everyone, obviously um, Tulsa and, and everyone else for, for allowing this to happen for all of us. Um, the match itself, incredible match. You know, you coach for 26, 27 years and it's hard to beat a match that's this competitive and this, this uh, solid of a match. So proud of the kids, and that's all of them. I'm proud of the, the North Carolina kids. They've taught us a lot. We learned a massive amount in doubles this year from that team, and I am so proud of our girls. This one, as much as anybody, um, the way that we played that number one court in doubles was just remarkable. Brilliant tennis. It's not the way you draw it up in a textbook, but they bought into it. And uh, they did a heck of a job with it. And, and then from there on, we had to keep fighting that, that much the, the whole way through. So what an amazing battle. It's awesome to be sitting here with a first-year kid who's just rising like crazy. So um, just proud of everybody, the whole group, the staff, and uh, North Carolina included. What a match. One specific, they've probably got the they have the second best doubles win percentage in the country. They're 30 and two this year. Their number one court probably has the best record in the country, the number one team in the country. And they do something that's different. They lob over the net player and they do it so well, it doesn't really matter how deep you position your net player, you're not gonna get the overhead. So they, they do it that well and then you end up running. You end up running at the back. So look, we sucked up our pride and we, we realized we don't wanna run 10 miles and have them lobbing over us and they use us as a target. So these young ladies, Megan and Danielle, were willing to play two back, including serving. And it's a brilliant way to play. You know, instead of them having a target and being able to trigger off of our positions, we switched it. And so they had to create all the offense a different way, and our girls were able to pick them apart. Megan will be able to tell you just as much as anybody, she hit most of the shots that did the damage. But we were able to pass them. And then ironically enough, what we were able to do a few times as well, lob them. So aim into that. But uh, that's one part of it. We knew a lot about the singles. Um, you know, we've been down to the wire with them every single time. And we just told our girls this was a continuation of the ACC match that we didn't win, but we were headed in the direction of winning it until we had an ankle injury. And that's with all due respect to both programs. We were headed in a great direction. These girls continued that process with all the heart in the world. And, um, and man, we had, to, we had to buckle down at the end because it still wasn't easy. Even after all that, they were sneaking their way back even at the end there. So they taught us a lot. I think we've taught them a lot. And, you're just blessed to have those kind of opportunities as a coach and as a team. We're close with these guys. You know, and this year we know right now we don't have much margin, and that's driven us to actually be better. And that's a remarkable character trait for, from the, the kids on the team. Uh, the message was what I just said, a continuation from ACCs. The tactics were very deep on court one doubles, a little bit on court two doubles. We had some new ideas. And then the singles, we had a couple of thoughts. And uh, I haven't even spoken to, to Nauda yet, but a senior who's really hanging in there. Um, physically, she's had some challenges. Uh, she needed to do some different things today in her match with Annie, who's been basically unbeatable. So the tactics there were really, really well played. And then I felt like Megan, no matter Vial or Pies or whoever they played in that position, either one was a lefty that Megan really handles well. And uh, man, oh man, just really good progression from Megan. And, and she was the first one off the court, which is uh, a huge statement. They kind of switched it up. We didn't know if I was going to play Chloe or um, Kate before the match, but um, it was kind of a similar situation, though, either way with the game plans. Um, they're lefties. They loop the ball. Um, so I was trying to just still step into the court, which I've been working a lot with Mark. Um, just I think I'm stepping into the ball, and he wants me to step into the ball even more. So I've been doing that, trying to take balls out of the air. Um, Overall, I think I was the aggressor in the match, which really helped out and just tried to play my game and step into the ball and count the W. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. I mean, we've done a lot of work, me and the coaches and the whole team. Um, we've worked on my game a lot. I've gotten a lot physically stronger. Um, I mean, I've just, I think I've gotten more mentally tough. I mean, consistently playing hard matches is just, I think, a lot, like a big improvement for my game. And my serve has gotten a lot stronger. I mean, I just overall, I think, I'm playing more aggressive tennis. I think she's grown a third a year for listening <laughs> to me so much. So no. Somewhere right back in here.